Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I want to make a thank you video to all my subscribers, all my viewers, all my friends, to all you guys that watch my videos, give me thumbs up, and leave me great comments. Um, I want to thank all my supporters, so thank you guys, and I, I want to dedicate this video to you today. Um, what we're going to do is we're making beautiful rainbow cupcakes. Um, we're going to start out with a cake mix and you can do this by scratch or you can use a box mix it's up to you um, and we're going to separate it into six cups okay and we're going to have six different colors we're going to have blue yellow orange purple green and red okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and separate my my cake mix um, into these six different cups and i'm going to color them the six colors the rainbow and we'll be back Hi guys, so I have my red, my orange, my yellow, green, blue, and purple. Okay, and I've got all the colors of the rainbow here. And I just used regular food coloring um, to color these. I did use quite a bit um, just to get the vibrant colors. Those are so beautiful. So, I'm going to use a jumbo, we're going to make jumbo muffins, jumbo rainbow muffins, jumbo rainbow cupcakes. So I'm going to um, line my tin, we're going to bring it over here, we're going to get started. Alright, so I'm going to make six, and um, I just used my liners, <clears throat> we're going to make these in the order of the rainbow, and what I'm going to do is we're going to start out with purple, and I'm just going to pour some into the tin. And I'm going to do that in all my tins. Now you just want to pour a little bit because you have six colors to add in here. So you don't want to overdo it or you won't be able to get all your colors in. So just a layer at the bottom. And you don't really have to be neat or any specific way with this. And my first ones I always start out kind of light with just because I never know where to start. So I'm going to go back and just add a little bit more. And if you have a little bit left over, it's fine. You can always make more um, cupcakes. So all I've done is I've just layered the bottom, okay, with the purple. Now I'm going to come back and we're going to start with the red. <laughs> we're going to start with we're going to go with blue next, okay? Like I said, in the color of the rainbow. So we have our purple. Now we're just going to do the exact same thing, but with blue. And you're just going to pour it right in the center of the purple. Remember, we got to get in six colors here. Don't overdo it. Right into the center. All right. Okay. 
so you can see where it's kind of made a ring with the purple and that's what the colors are going to continue to do so we'll add the next color we'll be right back okay guys so now we're going to do the green right on top in the center of the blue And then just continue on. Doing this in a cup makes easy cleanup. It's much easier to pour, as you can see. And um, it does make it a little bit easier working with all these different colors. So just continue on. Now I have started a few smaller tie-dye rainbow cupcakes over here. So I'm just going to pour some in the same way. So our next color is yellow. I'm going to start that color and we'll be right back. So I did the yellow. We did purple, blue, green, and yellow. Now I'm going to go ahead and start to add the orange. These are beautiful and you don't have to be too careful with them. You just want to primarily pour it in the center. And then the cake batter will kind of do the rest. So I'm just going to do a couple of the orange. We're doing them all the same way. We'll be right back. Orange are done, and you can see it just keeps making rings. Um, these are very easy to make, and I have to admit they are pretty fun. So now we're gonna start or finish with the red. So right on top, just like the other ones. Be mindful of how much you're adding, though, because you don't want to overfill your cupcake liners and it can be kind of easy just because you're working with six colors so I'm going to finish my little ones and then we're going to put these in at 350 
We're going to bake according to your cake directions, okay? About 3.50 for 15 to 17 minutes. And we'll be back with the finished cupcakes. Wow, guys, look at how absolutely beautiful. These are awesome, just like all of my viewers and subscribers. I love you guys, and I really love these cupcakes. So I'm going to let these cool. We're going to come back. We're going to break them open, see what they look like, and maybe decorate one or two. So we'll be back. All right, guys, there is one of our beautiful cupcakes all cooled you can see the purple and the blue and the green it's so pretty so what i'm going to do is we're just going to undo the liner oh, so gorgeous and you can see the purple and the orange and the red the green the blue the yellow um this is beautiful so I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to cut it in half just so that you can see all of the gorgeous rainbow colors oh my goodness how pretty is that cupcake that is the prettiest cupcake I have ever seen all right, so let's go ahead and do one more. <clears throat> Here is one of our little mini ones. Or not our mini, these are our standard. of the wrapper. Do these in white. People are just going to love these. So we're going to lay that one out. And again, you can see all the gorgeous colors. And we are just going to Oh my gosh. Wow. Each one is completely unique just like you guys. I hope you guys love this recipe. Um, again, I want to say thanks because without y'all, I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't be here. So again, I really appreciate all the encouragement that everyone gives me. And thanks guys. Thanks a whole lot. And as always, see you next time.